Welcome back. Looks like something wants to die again. <laughs> Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? I'll get on it. a trap. Now is better than later. I see a trap. Got it. All right, all right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Oh, it's been a while. Boy, is this familiar. Let's see.
I'll get on it. Get off my back. As you say. I'll get on it. All right. Once more into the breach. All right. Got it. Now is better than later. All right, all right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? All right, all right. Ugh, down the hole and into the deep. I don't even want to imagine where that leads. Well, you're gonna have to fucking find out. Quick. 
I'll get on it. No end to these blasted things. Fuck this room. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? They won't know what hit them. Attack! Oh, you think it's over? You think it's up? You think it's fucking over? Never! It's never over! Now is better than later. Spiders! Yeah. No. 
Now is better than later. There it is. The last of them. It has been a long day. By the lines around your eyes, I dare say you look as old as I. And if I may say so, milady, you appear to be getting younger by the day. Be careful who you flirt with, young man. <laughs> when you wake up beside me tomorrow morning, I'll be back to reminding you of your grandmother. <laughs> beside you? <laughs> you heard what I said. It would not be the first time I woke to a younger man in my bed. When is a cougar oh, confirmed? this evil and conniving when they grow old? Just me, my dear. <laughs> Just me. When is a cougar confirmed? Alistair, are you all right? Oh, they left him here to rot. We need to do something. He's of royal blood and deserves a pyre. He was a good man who hoped too much and died too young. He deserves what little honor we can afford to grant him. For him, this decision had nothing to do with Kaelin. It had nothing to do with his royal blood. This was about him confronting what happened at Ostagar and about finding a, a good way to put the memories to rest. Even he's not really sure if it worked. Heavy. Heavy as hell. Ask away. Mm. All right. There's really only one more thing to do. I did not thank you. It occurs to me now that you have freed me from the crows, and yet I did not think to thank you for it. No matter why you did it, it still it was done, and I the benefactor. So, thank you. My friend Severn was glad to do it. You say that so quickly, and yet it is an odd thing for me to hear. In the crows, we do not have friends. And yet here you are, and I cannot help but consider you such. <laughs> well, we're friends, and maybe a little bit more. Then allow me to say this. What we are doing here, stopping the blight, I cannot think of anything I have ever done which is so worthy. I intend to see this through to the end with you. After all, someone must take responsibility for preventing your untimely death. A suitable task for a friend, yes. <laughs> you don't need to die either, you know. Oh, I'm not going to die. It's always the Grey Wardens that die. Did you not read the stories as a child? The hero always dies. Unless the hero has a trusty sidekick with him, then... Uh, mm, then the sidekick <laughs> dies instead. I knew there was a catch. This friendship business is for the birds, I see. <laughs> Uh...
You know what we also need to talk to? We need to talk to Morrigan. It is a curious thing. I do not know how else to describe it. What, is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. It is a little embarrassing to admit, in fact. I am reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time, watching your progress. I knew immediately that you were far more formidable than the other men you traveled with. I found you intriguing. Yet I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that at best you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. Why would I do that? I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships, to put it lightly. It is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Yet when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. Whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. I did it because I'm your friend. And that is what I do not understand. I have been with men physically, those who lusted after me and even professed love, but friendship with a man? I did not know it was even possible. Tell me, could there ever be anything more between you and I? Have you ever considered it? Uh, you're not really my type, um, but maybe under the right circumstances? Which these are not. I understand. Still, tis good to think that we are friends. Of all the things I could have imagined when Flemeth told me to go with you, this would be the very last. I want you to know that while I may not always prove worthy of your friendship, I will always value it. But enough of such idle talk. There are more useful things to be done, surely. Oh, Morrigan. You're so bad at this friendship thing. But it's okay. I forgive you. Let me do a you quick... You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. Uh, good. I'm... I'll do a quick inventory and maintenance. I'll uh, give you just a second. Movie magic! Wow, so fast! I, uh... I did inventory maintenance and I gave, um... Stan Kalen's armor. Uh, not because I appreciate irony, but because it really was the best set for him. Because uh, I'll need to play him. Uh, at dinner room, but spoiler alert. Uh, so there's really only one more thing that we need to do before we, uh, get back to the plot plot. Uh, I am yours. I'd like to discuss something personal. Oh, this should be good. What would you like to discuss? Want to join me in my tent? No, I... no. I mean, no offense. I simply... no. Is, is something wrong? I, I do not wish to talk about it. Um, then I'll leave you alone. Good. We have plenty of other things to deal with, after all. Ren, confused and alarmed. What just happened? Oh, sweet Jesus. Morgan, I think I fucked something up. Do you realize that you've been smiling for hours now? Have I? Since the last time you and that rogue Zevran shot glances at each other, in fact. He has his charms, I'll give him that. Certainly he must be quite something in bed for you to risk so much in order to be close to him. Uh, you have no idea. I see. <laughs> Glad to hear it then. Tis a bit sickening to watch you two, but I imagine it at least takes your mind from our situation. Have it your way. Um, I am yours. I want to discuss something. Again? I'm game. You, you seem different now. Hmm, I thought that this might be it. Are you certain you wish to talk about this? I, I really do not know what to say. Do you want your earring back? Is that it? No, I, I gave it to you. I want you to have it. Let me attempt to explain. An assassin must learn to forget about sentiment. 
It is dangerous. You take your pleasures where you can, when life is good. To expect anything more would be reckless. I thought it was the same between us. Something to enjoy, a pleasant diversion, and little more. And yet... Are... are you saying that you're in love with me? I don't know. How would you know such a thing? I grew up amongst those who sold the illusion of love. And then I was trained to make my heart cold in favor of the kill. Everything I have been taught says what I feel is wrong. Yet, I cannot help it. Since you asked me into your tent, I have been nothing but confused. Do you understand me at all? I'm no wiser than you in that area, Zevran. All I need to know is if there might be some future for us. Some possibility of... I do not know what. I don't know. But I know how I feel about you. Then we need say no more. That is all I wish to hear. I am sorry for acting so strangely. I think I will be better now. Much better. <laughs>